Hi everyone, in this lecture I am going to show you one uh, important concept that is how do you pass functions as parameters okay so we will be talking about functions as parameters and this is because we have seen one example in the last video where we uh, passed the compare function as a parameter to a sort function okay so in this case we want I want to make this understanding more clear by defining a custom comparator for my bubble sort method and I will also alter my bubble sort method so that it can accept a function okay so in my earlier case we had a compare function uh, like this so I will just copy this function from this point and I will paste at this point and this sort method was already implemented in the header file that was hash include algorithm so this time we will implement our own uh, sort method and it we will make this method to accept another function so that you know how do you pass a function as a parameter to a, another function okay so it's related some um, somewhere to the pointers okay so we can create function pointers in C++ so maybe the, we will discuss this la little later on as well but if you want to just uh, pass this function to this function so what you will do you will say you will have the return type of the function then you will say okay and compare or and anything okay any name you want to give to this function and followed by the parameters this function is going to accept okay so this is how you will pass this function uh, okay so this is how you accept this function as a parameter inside another function okay so this is the syntax you can say and at this point uh, when you are making this comparison between aj and aj plus one uh, i can say uh, instead of making this comparison let's call the compare method that is going to make this comparison for us okay so you can see and when you're going to call bubble sort you are just going to pass the compare function okay so the compare function will come to this place so this is what we had done so, okay so this part was uh, implemented by the hash include algorithm file and this function we had written and while making the bubble sort call we are passing one more parameter that is the compare function that we had written okay so this parameter will accept a function that returns a boolean and it takes two input integers as parameters okay so we have to pass this compare function because for this we have written this thing okay so at the time of making this comparison you can say by just changing the compa comparison method you can actually change the output okay you can actually change the output of your uh, sorted array okay the way in which your array is going to be sorted so let's see by running this example okay so let me call uh, bubble sort with comparator and let's say five elements one five four three and two so you can see the output is one two three four five which means the elements are getting sorted in an increasing order and let us reverse the comparison so we'll say return true when a is less than b and let me just clear it and let's say five elements and five one two three four okay and you can see this time the elements are in decreasing order right so this is uh, how you can actually make your own comparators and i hope this uh, by showing this concept you would also understand how the uh, compare function works with the sort okay so this is about, this was about comparators so thanks a lot see you guys in the next video